A little blurry there. There we go. Hi, welcome to Wednesday. Liz and I are on our walk. It's trash day, which means we take the hilly walk, which is a lot more gorgeous, but a lot more hilly. Yay. Uh, rough night. Abby woke me up about 5.30, 5.45. I was like, baby, I can't sleep. I'm going to the room. I love you. I was like, okay, bye. And as soon as she left, little dog in her crate started going, rah, rah. and I was like, okay, relax, dog. She's just going to the room. And then I heard her panting. And I was like, mm, that doesn't sound good. So I opened up the crate and she darted out to the front door, meaning I have to poop. I let her out and she had diarrhea again. She had been having solid poops for two days, like really good solid poops. She had diarrhea again. I don't know why. Blaze, he does this the second I start filming. He thinks he can do whatever he wants. Come here. So... I took her out and then Stevie thought that we were like up for the morning. It was 6 a.m. at this point and the sun's not up yet because of daylight savings time. If the sun had been up, I would have gotten up. But the sun wasn't up. I'm not getting up before the sun. I am not that big of an overachiever. Only if I'm taking friends to the airport. So Stevie just wouldn't stop meowing and scratching through up at one point. I'm like, oh my God. So I gave her some food. I was like, shut up. And kept meowing, ate her food, but then kept meowing. I was like, I, I'm okay. This is annoying. I finally fell back asleep at like seven, which is the time I was supposed to wake up. And I slept till about eight. And then usually I take all the girls out to pee. I bring them back in. Abby cuddles them in bed while she sleeps. Another hour or half hour. Stevie knows the drill and just wouldn't stop meowing. And I know Abby's trying to sleep because she didn't sleep last night. I'm like, what the? So it just, it was just rough. So Blaze and my morning relaxing got cut short so Stevie could come out so Abby could sleep. Stevie and Blaze still don't get along. So they're, they got separate times. They do separate times in the house or out in the living room. But yeah, so it's, it's been a rough start to the day. Let's see if we can turn it around. I don't feel bad anymore. I'm out of my funk. I'm out of my whatever that was. I don't plan on getting back into it. I got a good day planned, productive, but good. So, oh man, I don't know. That was just, that was a weird funk, but I'm out. I wish I'd gotten a full night's sleep, but what are you gonna do? Life keeps moving, right? So let's just keep moving. I'll take a nap. I'll have an extra coffee and I'll sleep this weekend when I don't have any responsibilities. I just have to go to a wedding in the afternoon. So we'll get there. Don't even worry about it. The boys and I are gonna go home, do our workout, do our normal thing. Ready, bud? Let's go home. I'm pissing. I'm pissing. I just left to go get my eyelashes done because I need them to look good for the wedding on Saturday. But I have hit every single red light. I'm just now getting on the freeway. There's about 10 lights between my house and the freeway and I hit every single red one. And it was just, it just, it was just irritating. You know how things just get you irritated? You're like, that didn't need to happen. It was just unnecessary. That was my moment. And now I've talked about it. I've screamed about it. I've gotten it off my chest. I'm good now. I just, I was pissed about it for a second. It was just inconvenient. I'm impatient sometimes. Whew. Anyway, I'm going to get my eyelashes done. I've been moving slow this morning, but still get things done. When I get home, I'll post my podcast and edit my blog. I got time today. Not if I keep moving slow, but if I pick up the pace when I get home, I got time. Don't even worry about it. But let's go get my eyelashes done. Here they are. You me, 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 me. Time to get tortured for an hour. And then I'll be looking beautiful. That's all I have to say. I just needed to get it off my chest that I was I was pissed. Piazza. Lashes done. Updated. How do I look? How's it going? How's how are things? Is it there? Yes. Okay. Now I go home, eat a little bit, and work till I drop. I fell asleep. I always fall asleep in my eyelash appointments and I twitch when I fall asleep and she thought she hurt me. I was like, no, I just fell asleep on you. Sorry. I have to keep my eyes closed when I'm listening to a podcast. You think I'm going to stay awake during that? Not a chance. Not a freaking chance. I've been working all day, all night. I've been working till my booty is t No. No, that was just a terrible song. It's 7 p.m. and I'm checking out our work. I think I got everything work-wise I needed to get done before we leave tomorrow, which is, I don't know, I have to edit a vlog. <laughs> but I got my Rachel Uncensored with Joy on my laptop so I can edit that on the plane tomorrow because that goes up the Wednesday I get back. I got my Tuesday video, it's uploaded and everything is ready to go on Tuesday. I got my emails done, I got my cameos done, I've been Snapchatting. I want to film one TikTok before bed, but again, that's just today's work. I'm vibing. I'm freaking vibing. Um, now I'm gonna pack up my electronics for tomorrow. Get everything ready and then go inside and pack my clothing. Should we decide what I'm wearing? We shall. We shall. Do I have anything in my teeth? Abby just fed me dinner. She made a ramen. Oh, so good. Well, would you like to see the clay vagina Abby and I made together at Galentine's? 
It was an accident. I, I folded this and I said, look, they look like lips. And I put them up to here and I said, they kind of look like other lips. And then Abby made a clit. So that's the vagina we made together. You're welcome. It is time, one, to get new lighting in this house because this is terrible. Two, to show you my dog. Say me so. She's cute. And three, to pack. It's time to pack. It's time to pack. It's time to pack. It's time to pack. All right, I hate packing. So what do we start with? Underwear and socks. How many days am I gone? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Five days, which means bring eight pairs of everything. <gasps> Interacting. 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 Yeah, pissed, loving it. Eight pairs of everything. Come on, everybody. Oh, oh guys, please give me some freaking personal space. God, please. All right, don't look at my underwear drawer. God, you guys are so perverted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's eight pairs of underwear. Three sports bras, one, and a regular bra, two. I need a better bra. This is the only like normal bra I have. I had deals with Skims, which by the way, Skims bras, they're a sponsor of my podcast, so they send me free stuff all the time. Abby steals it, or I get things in her size, and then she steals it. They actually have really freaking good products. They're really, really soft. And I'm mad I got things in Abby's size and not my size. <laughs> now she has a bunch of really good bras and I don't. But I just got some t-shirts sent from them in the mail that are really comfy. One's my size, one I thought would be my size and ended up being her size. We're just like slightly different sizes. We can wear the same stuff, but stuff just looks better on one than the other. What am I doing here? Yes, one, two, three, good. All right, socks. Ugh, my woman did the laundry. Thank God. Ooh, five, six, seven, eight. Y'all, one time I didn't overpack and that's when I needed to. So, oh, and then I'm wearing a pink suit with black accents. So, but I might go brown accents. So I'll bring my brown socks and I need my black socks. Boom, mm -hmm. dress socks, baby. Okay, done. We have the undergarments. Now time for the pajamas. This is how I pack, I go undies, pajamas, pants, shirts, nice things, jewelry, toiletries. It just seems to go easier for me. All right. I need my bag. Hold on a second. And I put it all in the side pouch. This is where my undies go. This is where my undies go. This is where my undies go. Now I try not to overpack with pajamas. You can overpack with the undies and stuff, not with the pajamas. Pajamas are limited. They take up a lot of space, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I am packed for my trip. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Duh. The suit took up some room, so Abby is taking my toiletries in her bag and I'm wearing my jewelry tomorrow. Yeah, okay, I have to figure out my airplane fit. There's mainly my pants, I gotta figure out my pants. So much to do, so much to do. Actually, this is like the earliest I've ever been ready for a trip. It's 8.15 p.m. the night before we leave. I've never been ready this early. All right, it's 9.45. I am getting ready for bed. I rough edited my vlog. I gotta put this clip in. I'm gonna wake up at six tomorrow and get my vlog done. Feed the boys. Joy's coming tomorrow, so Blaze doesn't really need a walk because he'll just play with Jeter nonstop. Get here, best friends. It's really great when your best friend's dog is your dog's best friend. It's just like adorable full circle type of thing. Absolutely love it. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just putting all the furniture on the couch so Snoop doesn't sleep on it. This is, I think, the most ready I've ever been for a trip, which scares me as I feel as though I'm gonna end up forgetting something major. As long as I have my phone, my wallet, and the dogs. My mom's picking at me so in the morning and we're taking baby girl with us. Hey, toad dog. As long as I have them, my phone and my wallet, and my laptop, I think we're good. And I think I'll be able to manage that. Okay, I think that's it. I got my coffee ready for tomorrow. Got the stuff. Oh, I need to put food in Stevie's dish for her or she'll wake me up in the middle of the night meowing, wanting some food. She's so needy, so needy. All right, I got this. Do you got this? I'll see you tomorrow as we fly to Virginia. Fun. You live in Virginia. Hey. I have no idea what that was, and I apologize. That was so icky.